when Jonathan Chamochachua is back on the floor for Baylor, returned much sooner than anyone wanted. Holly Rowe joins us now with nothing than anyone wanted. I should say more than anyone expected, Holly. It's a remarkable thing that he's back on the floor for the Bears. Well, he's already had a very unique journey in college basketball. Born in Cameroon, Africa, he immigrated to Australia at 16 years old to chase his basketball dream to the United States, UNLV, and now Baylor. He's had a long and winding path, and he was just coming off the best game of his career when the unthinkable happened. Day 281. 281 days since I've got hurt. 281 days since I haven't played a game of love. 281 days that I've been fighting depression, gaining strength from God, working my butt off every day on the court, in the weight room, in the training room, and in my mind. Remembering where you've been helps to show you where you are. For Baylor forward Jonathan Chamochachua, that means reliving one of his most traumatic experiences. Chamo Chachua is down. He went down awkwardly at midcourt, just, I think, on his left knee. I feel like time slowed down for me at that moment. I just felt like my leg was curling in the wrong way. I felt like I just hyperextended just a little bit. I was just about to get back up, and that's where the pain started coming in. I didn't see it. You know, I just saw him on the ground, and, you know, I could see how much he was grimacing and how everybody was just covering their face. Just his overall behavior. Hang on, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Signified that something was seriously wrong. We got him to the training room with assistance, and right away, you do a couple of evaluations, and you knew that he had significant damage to his knee. The extent that it ran the risk of affecting him for the rest of his life. That was emotionally one of those nights you don't ever forget from the standpoint you knew it was bad, but when you found out the injury that he had and the fact that he might not be able to walk again, um, you're devastated for him. Four days later, Chama Chachua underwent surgery to repair multiple torn ligaments in his left knee. During the surgery, doctors discovered he severed his perineal nerve, leaving him unable to lift his foot. When he first got hurt, the surgeon had given him some time frames. Once he had seen the true extent of the damage, he said that, you know, the return time could be, you know, a couple years, if ever. What did you feel in that moment? I just crumbled. I felt like everything was over for me. I was in a really dark space during that time. I don't think I actually slept. I was just crying all day. It's really hard for somebody to think about playing a game of basketball, especially at a high level, when you can't walk, when you literally can't control your ankle. Chamachachua quickly realized what he could control. And even without the ability to walk, he got to work. Two or three days after the incident, I'm looking out my window, and he's down there doing form shooting on a chair, and I about cried. I was like, this guy's relentless. My heart just went out to him looking down there, see, I can't believe he's back at it. Over the next nine months, he trained with coaches and staff, and with the help of a special brace that holds his foot in place, he was able to return to practice. Then, on February 4th, 358 days after his injury, Chama Chachua returned to the court for the first time. And substitution here in Waco. Isn't that great, though? He deserves it, yeah. It was so loud. I couldn't hear my name. It was so loud. I tried to play cool, but I was just so excited to just be able to run up and down. He came in, it was like, he's about to play. Like, I was a fan, because I didn't see so much he'd been through. Anytime somebody goes through an injury like he did, you always can expect them to be a little bit less of what they were. And just to be able to see him still be able to have that same pop, that same power, is just amazing. If you asked all the professionals, from the doctors to everyone involved, I don't think anyone would have thought he had been on the court this year. But they didn't ask Jonathan Chamachachu. It's just so fun to be out there having no expectation for myself, but just feeling grateful. I don't go out there to try to catch 20 rebounds, score 20 points. I just go out there and celebrate the grace of God. 
I've seen myself as a working miracle. There was a time when it was too hard he thought about giving up, and I want to give a shout out to his girlfriend, Lauren Harrison. She said, absolutely not, you will not quit, and so he didn't. Jonathan is now playing for Baylor. He's played in the last four games. He's averaging almost seven points a game in 20 minutes, and he's shooting the three. That form, pay, that form shooting in the, in the gym paid off 44% from three. So when he steps on this court today, Kansas, give him a big round of applause because he is a walking miracle. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.